Good morning, good morning, and welcome to yet another edition of Macro Now, set to be released every Monday morning. Today is Monday, November 23rd, 2020. My name is Alexander Turo, Senior Market Strategist here at RJO Futures, where we're going to be contextualizing the rates of change of growth and inflation, not only here domestically, but globally as well, within the context of the prior week. So with that said, we'll start with the global currency market. We had the U.S. dollar continue to be devalued yet another 0.4% last week and continues to signal bearish trend. You had the euro versus the U.S. dollar appreciate 0.2% last week and remains bullish on both the 15-day as well as the 90-day trend duration. You had the Japanese yen appreciate another 0.7% last week and continues to remain bullish on both a 15-day as well as on the 90-day trend duration. And you had the British pound versus the U.S. dollar up 0.7% last week in the midst of a big bullish trend breakout. Uh, in terms of the down dollar, let's see how commodity inflation did last week. You had the CRB index inflate and hit a new cycle high of up 2.8% on the week, bullish on both a 15-day as well as on a 90-day trend duration. You had oil inflate another was 5.0% last week and was the last major holdout to break out on a bullish uh, basis. You had copper inflating another 3.9% last week, inflating 5.2% in the last month and continues to signal bullish trend. Just as an aside here, take a look at Dr. Cosby uh, has gone parabolic in the last month, up 1.9% in the overnight and up 10.2% month over month. And uh, just coming back to the commodity asset class here, uh, taking a look at agricultural space, corn inflating another 2.1% last week and has inflated 3.6% in the last month to new cycle highs. You have soybeans inflate another 2.9% last week and have inflated 11% in the last month. And even if you take a look at something like cocoa, that inflated 14.7% last week and is the latest commodity tapping into a now a three month high this morning. Um, moving along to global equities, um, on the back of this down dollar, you got China continue to accelerate. Um, China was up another 1.0% on the week and up 4.2% in the last month. It continues to signal bullish trend since June now. Um, you look at emerging markets, they've continued to outperform. They were up another 1.8% last week and up to 6.6% .6 in the last month. Uh, taking a look at Russian stocks, those were up another 2.8% last week alongside oil on the back of this oil move higher and are up 10.7% in the last month alone. And then you have Taiwanese stocks, those were up 3.3% last week and are up 6.6% in the last month alone. And so if you consider the alternative uh, to this inflation accelerating, you look at something like long gold, uh, which was down minus 1.0% last week and is down minus 1.9% in the last month. That's in the face of real rates rising, excuse me, alongside inflation accelerating. So, you know, with that said, uh, if you have any further questions or would like to divulge further, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Otherwise, thank you for listening and keep your head up out there.